So for today, we're going to be looking at the Omega Mechanos helmets. Now, I do apologize. This is late considering I should have had this on Friday. Unfortunately, um, if you guys have been keeping up to date with like Florida, <laughs> we had a big storm. We had a hurricane and it knocked out our Internet for like a few days, which kind of fucked me over because I couldn't do anything. So, yeah, that's why a lot of the content that I had planned for you guys is either going to be really, really late. Like this video should be coming out Monday, which the new season coming out tomorrow so just just to showcase how late this is because this was supposed to be out last monday um and some content i'm just not going to be able to post on, um because the new season is going to be coming out or, ep or episode i should say um the new episode's going to come out so we're going to be going to try to get a lot of that content done for that and then we'll see about going into the other stuff specifically the fashion for the new cloaks or the new class items i should say um I, I still haven't done that and some things like that so some of the things that i have planned i'm gonna be pushing it to the back so that way i can get some of the newer stuff in first and then we'll go back to that so i do apologize if you were interested in that but again florida had that hurricane which really fucked my whole timeline so at least this what video is going to be coming up remember that the omega mechanos set has been given out already but if you guys did get at least some of those pieces the art the armor won't cost fifteen dollars it'll actually be reduced depending on how many pieces you get so if you are only missing one piece then it's only going to be like three dollars so that's just some food for thought and if you in the future just in case like you don't want to pick it all up or you don't have enough glimmer don't worry each of the piece will reduce the price of that armor so yeah i just wanted to explain that because uh tomorrow i will be pushing or i shouldn't say pushing out but tomorrow i'm going to be playing uh the new uh the new episode as much as i can so that way i can get all of the fashion and yeah that's what we're going to be doing and i'm really really excited so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all remember to like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help other than that let's look at some of these pieces so to start off, we're going to be using two pieces from the Omega Mechano set. For this one, we're going to be using the helmet and the arms. For the chest piece, veteran legend vest. For the boots, we're going to be using stompies with the astrocytes ornament. And then the solstice cloak rekindled for the, the cloak. So unfortunately for the females, you guys will see that the helmet actually clips through the solstice cloak, which is very unfortunate. Other than that, I really don't see any other problem. For the shadering Sato tribe, specifically because it combines all of the cloth into one color, because the astro side astro strides, the veteran legend vest, and some other pieces here and there are really, really annoying to like pinpoint the color or more more specifically. To have the color be one um that's the main reason why i'm using sato tribe and it's literally the best shader in the game personally so yeah i actually really like this set um i will say that it's it's a little weird because like as much as i love Satro tribe with this one it's very unfortunate that the omega mechanos grasps has that navy blue that doesn't change color that being said some people might just be like oh it doesn't really matter because there's blues in here which will combine it i'm like on the fence on but on one side i'm like yeah i get that i get that point where it's like it's blue so it's just gonna look good but on the other side it's not the same blue therefore it's gonna bug me so i'm either or on that one i mean to be fair the chest piece specifically like that middle plate does have a navy so like for me i'm like that's enough for me not to be annoyed about it so overall i really really like this set will it be a set that i actually use probably if i'm being honest just because it does look really cool to be fair i have a lot of astro sides looks so it's not like it's blowing my mind but it is definitely cool let me know what you guys think as for the next set we're going to be using the omega mechanos helmet and this one's pretty cool um we're using the flex enhanced replicate ornament for syntoseps the chest piece is going to be legacy oath plate for the boots potentiate threads and then for the mark it's going to be the light of great prism so i actually really like this one for the shadering we're going to be using valkyrie zero for everything but the flex enhanced re replicate because it turns the shoulder pads into this really gross orange and valkyrie zero does like it looks the best when it's just the red and black i think those two colors look really cool and you guys will see it in pretty much every other piece specifically the helmet and the chest piece you will we'll see a lot um honestly i really really like this one just because it is a really good um siva look that being said I would probably switch out the mark if i'm being quite honest for something else um i think the helmet's fine 
and I definitely think the helmet's fine. Um, I would, I don't want to switch the chest piece out because I think the chest piece adds to that robotic like android look. That being said, it doesn't look good with the females just because the helmet and the chest looks like almost like a chicken. And for the males, it's a, it's a different story. It actually looks really cool because the shoulder pads are actually like decently big to the point or not shoulder like the yeah the shoulders not the not the actual like shoulder pads but like i don't know how to explain this part but yeah <laughs> like it's just it looks proportionally correct compared to the females which granted the females are supposed to look smaller but that is the problem it's the fact that their head looks oblong compared to the chest piece so it's just one of the weaknesses that the females have to be fair though i think the females still have a lot more strength than the males so I will always say the females are the better Titan for fashion. That being said, it's not a it's it's not like females are the best for everything. Granted, this is a good example. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we're gonna be using the transverse of steps with the path of convergence ornament for the exotic. For everything else, Omega Mechanos helmet, obviously. For the curious of the heads and lords for the chest piece, gloves of the Cormorant cormorant blade there we go and then the prefectus bond so obviously we're going for a fucked up looking or not fucked up but like um i guess this one was what would it be is this the future vex look because they're like all met like like rusted and whatnot and the the new age looking ones is the actual old one if i remember correctly um either way the Descendant Vex Chrome is what we're using specifically because the Omega Mechanos helmet, specifically that whole ornament, like ornaments, this is the shader that is actually on it. And unfortunately, the rust on the helmet is not like dirt, like it's not the shader, it's actually implanted into the armor. So that is why I just lean into that Descendant Vex Chrome look because unfortunately, the helmet, even if you put it like a pristine looking shader, you will see like the grittiness of the rust, which is very unfortunate. But I still think this looks really cool. Not only that, granted, remember, we still have some really, really cool ornaments for Vex. Specifically, we have the Hezen Lord set, which is from Vault of Glass. We have the Phenotype Plasticity, which is from a season pass, specifically Season of the Undying, which is unavailable again. Because I say again because it was available at a certain point and I did make a video on it. So don't tell me I didn't do that because I did do that. Um, the Legacy Oath, which is from one of the raids uh if i remember correctly it's a uh, deep stone crypt there we go that one's gonna be really really cool as well so there is options for you to do it we yep. also have the substitutional alloy set which is the phenotype plasticity uh legendary set specifically for like the season seasonal activity armor that's gonna be really cool as well so there is options for you to do it if you wanted to it's just for me i just didn't I'm not gonna use this set if I'm being if I'm be actually that's a lie. I might actually use this set just because this is a really cool contrast to the other set that I made for uh Path to Convergence, which is the opposite. It's the actual like um like the the gold and white vex look, which is I think a really cool. So yeah, I, I could definitely put this in my repertoire just because it doesn't look terrible by any means. It actually does look really cool. It's just the unfortunate part of Omega Mechano's crown having that innate rust in the actual armor is what really bogs this armor down for me specifically the omega mechano set just because any armor piece that you see will have that grittiness which is very unfortunate and i've already reviewed the armor and unfortunately i couldn't post the all of the armor sets that i've made um in the future once all of the armor pieces are available and then uh I make the review video and the shader video i will be posting all of those and probably a newer one or just all of them in one ghost which means i most likely will be posting five armor sets or four i don't know how i'm gonna do that yet but let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point let me know which one was your favorite i personally really really like the hunter one i think the hunter one was really really cool just because it looked very very clean that being said i definitely think the warlocks get second place just because it is really really cool it is a a different look on path to convergence which again like i said on the other one i made like a clean very pristine uh old old school vex look and this one is just like the opposite of that which is really cool and then i'm the titan one is not bad by any means it's just i don't think it's of the level of the other two so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let me know what you guys thought other than that be safe i will see you guys later